In this lesson in vectors, we're going to look at an important concept called the position vector. Now, this ties up coordinate work with vector work and allows us to do a lot of important calculations involving the two. So if we look at this wee diagram here, and we see that A is the point 3, 4, 3 along and 4 up. And also B is the 5 along and 2 up from the coordinates here. If we were to work out the components of the vector OA, then it's exactly the same as the coordinate 3, 4, 3 along, 4 up. The vector of OA would be 3, 4 in column format. The same with OB, if you look at the vector O to B, then you go 5 along and 2 up, which is the same as the coordinate idea here, so it would be 5, 2. So OA is called the position vector of point A, and it's relative to the origin. Um, we write that as a small a, in bold, or you would underline it. And OB is called the position vector of point B, and that's written B, small b. Now here's the interesting thing. To get the vector from A to B, then we can look at the components of B and A. Now, B, I'm to excuse my writing here, is 5, 2. And A is 3, 4. Now, if you're looking at from A to B, 2 along and 2 down, that is 2, negative 2. Now, can we get this from these two? Well, if you do 5, take away 3, you're going to get the 2. And if you do 2, take away 4, you get the negative 2. So we can actually work out the components of this vector from these parts here, which are literally just the, the 2D coordinates. Position vectors, that's what they're called. And this works for any case. If you're looking for the components of vector AB, you do B minus A, where these two are the position vectors, which are just the same as the coordinates. If you wanted to go and uh, get the components of a vector from P to Q, you do Q take away P which would be position vectors, which you get from the coordinates. So let's look at how that would work here. Find the components of A, B in each case below. Well, we don't actually need the diagram here. We've given two coordinates, and we've already know that to get from A to B, we do B minus A, where these are position vectors, which are the same as the coordinates. So that's going to be 8, 6, take away 4, 3. So 8 take away 4 is 4, 6 take away 3 is 3, so there's your answer. A, B, again, B minus A, we underline because these are in bold. That's the position vector from the origin, which is the same as the coordinate. And same idea here. And then just take them away, 17 take away 5 is 12, 2 take away 6 is negative 4. Last one, same idea, B minus A, so 12, 9, take away 2, 9, that's going to be 10, 0. 